guys, this is Robin with All Things Hard and Home. Welcome back. Today I have got a fun wall art project that you can use in any room of your house. Um, I've got uh, the one I made for my breakfast room where I had been looking for a couple of prints to go over a couple of windows. I wanted a French country vibe with um, some vintage silverware. So I couldn't find it at exactly what I wanted so I decided to try to make it. I got the silverware from posters and um, I just layered a burlap covered canvas and I'm going to show you the different um, mediums I use to layer this. It's super easy and I think you can use it all over your house with a lot of different prints. So if you've got a minute, I would love to show you how I did this. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to show you what we need to get started with this project. Um, first of all, I started with a canvas that is covered in burlap and painted over in a flat white. We're going to tone down this white because I didn't like it. I thought it was a little too loud for what I'm going to use it for. And to tone that down, I'm going to use my, the main thing I'm going to use is my Americana Multi-Surface Metallic in Champagne. I'll also be using the Multi-Surface Metallic in Silver over, um, the silverware to make them a little more light. I didn't like the darkness, um, the dark color that they were. And so I'll need both of those paints. And then to help tone the white down uh, even more, I'm going to use this um, tissue paper that I got at a home goods store. And it has French writing on it. And I'm going to cover the, um, the white part of the the canvas with this to also tone it down. Just give it a more aged and antique look. I'll use my Americana Deco Page and a matte. I really like to work with matte. I don't like sheens on things. Um, so I'm going to use that to put that uh, tissue paper on. I'll need some brushes, of course, for the paint and the Deco Page. And then I got a poster at a a big craft store and it's got vintage silverware on it. They had one with um, forks and one with spoons. I'm gonna, I put the spoons on the last one. I'll cut these out and decoupage them onto the canvas over my tissue paper. It's really simple and it doesn't take long. Let's get started. Alright, you can see I've painted um, half of my canvas and I just used the metallic champagne color and I watered it down. I always, almost always water down my paints. I'm not sure why. I think because I like more subtle colors. Just water it down and paint the champagne color over the bright white. Now that we have all of the canvas painted and it's dry, I'm taking the tissue paper and I'm tearing it along the edges to show a little bit of the painted part to mimic the way they've painted over the burlap on the canvas. You just tear along your edges. And then we're going to use the decoupage to put it on, to adhere it onto the canvas. Almost done. Put a little of the deco page underneath on top of the canvas and then finish off putting it over. My tissue wasn't long enough to make one long piece, so I pieced it on the edges, leaving the middle of everything with one single piece. This will all dry clear with a matte finish. Now we'll just wait for it to dry and we will add our forks. Now you need to decide where you want your um, vintage uh, forks or spoons on the canvas. Mine is long because that's what I need. My canvas is long because that's what I need to go over my windows in the um, breakfast room and I'm just going to kind of offset them 
one close to the edge this way, the next one opposite close to the edge, and then this last one, you probably can't see it from there, but it's in the center. And then you're going to take a little bit of your decoupage medium, I use the Americana deco page, and put it on the back. of your cutout. In my case, I used a poster board. You can get it on um, your tissue paper. It's not going to hurt it. It's tougher than you think. You just decoupage it right on. It sticks right to it. And you'll need to use your hands, your fingers, to mash it down because this isn't as thin as the tissue paper. It would actually be ideal if it was. Poster board is a little bit thicker. You'll just need to mash it down along the edges until it starts to dry, which will keep it sticking. I'm going to go back and put a coat of the decoupage medium over my uh, cutouts here, but first I'm going to let them stick and I'm going to paint a little bit of that silver metallic over them because I don't like how dark they are. They may be fine with you, but I wanted them a little lighter and I'll show you in this picture if you'll see my spoons and the difference in the coloring. I put a little bit of that silver over it to keep them from looking so dark, a little bit dingy to me. So that's what I'll do next. Now I've started with the metallic um, silver. And again, I've watered it down a little bit. And I'm painting it over. It's kind of like a watercolor wash, painting it over the cutouts of the forks. This. Um, you don't have to be really exact. I do have a smaller brush, but you see I'm kind of overlapping it onto the tissue paper. Just gives it, I don't know, a little sheen to the tissue paper and I'm going to go back over it with the decoupage medium. It'll all blend in. You can do as much or as little or none of the lightening that you want. This um, technique with this little bit of an art project can be used for anything um, that you find. If you find a poster with something else that you like for a different room, maybe a nursery or you know any other room, um, you could use this technique. Change up the cutouts, change up the tissue paper, and just play with it. If it's not quite the right color, you see you can just you can change that just a bit. Going back over just a little bit with the silver. Not too much. I did try a little more of the silver and I didn't like it um, when I used too much of it, so I had to redo. So on my first pass through with this, um, my experiment with the art, but a little bit of the silver over the champagne color gives it a little bit of a nice sheen. Again though, I would recommend whatever you do, water it down. You can always um, add more, but it's more, a little more difficult to take it away. So just a little bit lower down. And when this dries, I'm going to add more of our decoupage medium to finish it off. And here is the finished product. I did two of these, one for over each window in the breakfast room, and I love the way they turned out. It was just what I wanted. I hope you can find something to do with this technique. If you do, I would love for you to shoot me an email and let me know. If you um, have any time, I'm at my blog every day, allthingshardandhome.com. I would love to see you there and connect. And I'll be back on YouTube late summer 
and in the fall and of course for the holidays with a lot more projects. I have a lot planned. I would love to see you, so hit that subscribe button so we won't miss each other. Until next time, sending love from me to you. Bye-bye, guys.